everyone talks about the success that you you guys have had this this organization the New England Patriots organizations had throughout the years. Teddy, you and I have had these conversations about what it took. Tell tell everyone what it took because everyone only thing we see is Sunday. That's all we see. Tell us about the work you guys put in those those championship years. Yeah, the um the initial because the first championship was. Uh, that was like, that was a very unique championship in terms of coming out of nowhere and really changing the way New England, the area of New England saw football because they just saw the Patriots as losers, you know? Mm -hmm. And so how the mental toughness that's needed to like really change the way people see you Mm -hmm. as an organization and as like the logo, you know, that was really our goal. Mm -hmm. Um, We never knew that it was, it was going to happen like that, but the work that had to be put in was, I mean, there was a tremendous amount of sacrifice in terms of egos that were that were changed that first year because, I mean, we won the championship with a different quarterback that started. Mm. I mean, Drew Bledsoe was the franchise right. quarterback yeah. that, I mean, he, this is probably the greatest example I can give you of what it took in terms of the team concept. When Drew got knocked out and Brady comes in, you can only imagine what Drew's going through. I mean, this is my organization. Mm-hmm. He said, I look forward to getting my job back, all that stuff. We all understood how he was pissed off, but it was okay for him to be upset, but it was also expected of him to do the best he could to help Tom Brady keep his mm-hmm. job. Mm-hmm. And like, I never understood how he did that. You know what I mean? At that moment, it's like, man, bro, I can't believe how you're doing this and helping him and being so encouraging at the same time. And, you know, that's what really helped us propel into a a team because Drew's leadership of being unselfish and helping Tom at the same time as being pissed off as being on the bench, Mm, it's got to be one of the greatest examples of all time to me. That's all. So how was the team, right? You see your franchise quarterback get knocked out. I mean, I think the tendency is the air to get sucked out of it. And you talked about egos being checked and, and having just a different mentality and that mentality shift. What, when he went down, who, who rallied the guys together? I mean, you're five years into your career, so, I mean, you obviously yeah. have a leadership role at this point. But who, who, how do you guys come together as a team and say, hey, look, we're not going to let this slow us down? Yeah, everyone, everyone just sort of – picked it up a little bit more. I mean, in terms of the the defense was pretty strong. We didn't realize how good we were on defense. A lot of us were young players at the time, Ty Law, Richard Seymour, Laurie Malloy, myself, uh, a lot of good players, Roman Pfeiffer, you know, those type of players. Um, So as we developed into better players, the defense and special teams had to make plays as we bought Tom Brady time. Mm-hmm. You know, I think Tom only scored a couple touchdowns during that playoff run. He ran for one against the Raiders in the snow, and he threw one to Patton in the Super Bowl against the Rams. Besides that, I mean, it was the, all other field goals, defensive touchdowns, and special teams touchdowns. God, that's amazing. You know, wow. It's just, it's, it's just, yeah, I think about that, and it was just I mean, two special teams touchdowns in the AFC Championship game. Uh, Ty Law's interception in a, uh, against the Rams in the Super Bowl. So everybody's sort of picking up the slack while we bought this kid some time for him to become a better player, which was probably the most satisfying championship out of the three was the first one. 